Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of WordPress theme development. In the previous video, we learned about how to add the scripts and styles. And in this video, we're going to learn about how to include the external styles and scripts, for example, Bootstrap. Okay, now before we jump on to Bootstrap, there's one thing I want to add over here into our header.php. You remember we spoke about the WP open, WP body open uh, function, uh, which actually came out in WordPress 5.2. So for backward compatibility, it is better to just check if this function exists before we actually use it. So there's a function called function exists that we can use and we give the name of the function which is this and if the function exists then we will just call this function so this is just for backward compatibility in case if someone is using your theme with with WordPress with version number lower than 5.2 okay so with that taken care of let's move on to our functions.php this is where we were at uh, earlier on we had included our style.css and main.js and now we're going to talk about bootstrap right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to my github repository and make sure you follow me thanks to all of the beautiful people uh, please follow me on github if you aren't already following me and uh, do star my repo as well to support my work and we're going to go to aquila and please star the repository. Okay, so let's go on to project. This is where we'll be keeping our notes, uh, all the references that we require for working with this project. So we're gonna go to adding bootstrap. So let's go with that. So you, I'm sure many of you must already be familiar with bootstrap. So it's a front end open source toolkit featuring SAS variables and mixing and responsive grid system and whatnot you know you can see so many features available this makes your life a lot easier for this tutorial purposes i think this is going to save our time if we used bootstrap okay so we're going to download it so i have already downloaded that so this is my bootstrap i'm going to copy the css and js and what i'm going to do is let's go on to my project and inside of assets i'm going to create a directory called source and this is where i'm going to keep all of my libraries like vendor files so I'm gonna create a directory called library and then inside of the library I'm just going to paste this CSS and the JS of the bootstrap okay so they all been added here you can see now I can check they've been added all right awesome so you've got the JS added and you've got the CSS added as well awesome Great. Now the next thing you want to do is just include them. So we already learned about how to include our styles. So I think it's better to just put a comment over here saying that styles and this will be register styles and register scripts. And this will be NQ styles and NQ -U -E -U -E scripts. Okay, great. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it. And let's name it as Bootstrap CSS. Bootstrap CSS. And now we require the path. If we were going to include that from, let's say, CDN, then at this point, we could have just given its source URL at, over here. But since we're going to be including it from our local file, because in case if the URL has changed or for some reason, uh, I, you know, the vendor has removed the file, it's always best to keep the copy of it. It's okay to use a direct URL if you want, but then it's always safe to keep a copy just in case if you want to use them. So, uh, of course, using it from CDN has its own advantage. But uh, for now, I think let's use it from our own local copy of it. Okay, great. 
So, uh, so you know that this function already gives us access to our root, which is up until your as your Aquila directory, right? So we have this function is going to give me the path up until that, and then I'm going just going to use a dot operator to concatenate the path, and then it's going to be inside of assets, then library slash I think it's in the CSS and thereafter we're going to include bootstrap.min.css you can get rid of the other files if you want if you don't need them uh, but for now I'm just keeping them okay so bootstrap.min.css and then similarly uh, does it have a dependency no it doesn't do we require a file time no we don't reason for this is because we are not going to change their library ourselves every now and then, right? So we don't need to do use file time to uh, keep track of the updates. So we'll set the version number to false. And then let's get rid of this. Okay, and then all means I want to be applied at all screens. So this is done, and let's just enqueue it. So WP enqueue style and then we're going to put the handle here okay great and then similarly for JavaScript as well we're going to include that so this will be again bootstrap JS and it's inside of assets and then library JS and we want to include bootstrap dot min dot js okay so let's take that and one thing more important that um, a lot of functions from JavaScript are dependent on the jQuery as well so it is better to use jQuery as the dependency okay so we got we got our first use of dependency I know we spoke about it in previous videos but we got our first dependency so we need to include jQuery before we actually include bootstrap.min.js but you'll ask me a question hey Imran I don't see that you have ha you know you have included any of the jQuery files over here so how is it that you're putting jQuery are you going to include that are you going to download that as well well the best part is that WordPress already provides us with many of the libraries out of the box you don't so all you have to do is just name them like for example you, it provides you with jQuery it provides you with underscore etc etc okay so we just have to name it and then automatically uh, you know jQuery it is going to be included after jQuery okay and then we don't need the file m time because again uh, we're not going to make any changes to this file so we'll just set that to false and the last option will be true which means it'll be this will be included in the bottom before the body tag ends okay so let's go ahead and enqueue the script and this will be bootstrap js okay there is one more thing we just need to add the source before this because i think it's inside of the assets and then source and then library okay okay so before we actually test our work uh, let me just show you quickly that you can see that JavaScript best practices here is the list of the default scripts that are already included and it says that do not try to use your own version of JavaScript library that's already bundled with WordPress doing so may break the core functionality and conflict with the plugin so it's important that if you want wanting the jQuery it's better that you use WordPress or uh, you know library of jQuery which is already included you just have to you know add that as a dependency so you can see you've got jQuery form jQuery missionary jQuery UI mouse progress bar droppable so many of them right tick box and quick tags color picker tiny mice right there there's so many of them that are already included image cropper so you can check that out and uh, let's go ahead and add this to our knowledge base cool so let's get back to what we were discussing so I'm expecting that the bootstrap uh, files may have already been included 
let's go over here and refresh and now you can see that I, I can already see that it's been included because uh, you know you've got your styles being shown if I check bootstrap so you've got bootstrap.min.css if I click on it awesome this is all the minified file and I should have another bootstrap which should be the JS file here it is awesome congratulations you've got your bootstrap included now we can start building some really nice uh, front-end components great so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and uh, do give star to my repository and this can be a good resource you you can also add stuff over here you can send pull requests etc do follow me on uh, github as well as on the twitter my twitter handle is Tech. all right then i'll see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye